Welcome to Motorsport Manager, folks. We are going to play this for a bit. And uh, what I'm going to do with this series is that we'll take a season at a time. Uh, so a season is 10 races by default. And we'll take these uh, 10 seasons or 10 races in a season. And we'll see how the series is doing, if, if you guys are enjoying it. Uh, we'll continue on with another season. If uh, you're not enjoying it, uh, then we will end at the end of a season. So to show me that you're enjoying it and you want to see more, make sure to leave likes and, uh, and comment. I, I love your comments and I read all of them and I respond to by far the most of them. So make sure to, to like and leave comments if you want the season to go on or the, the series to go on. We are going to jump into a new career. We are going to start without tutorials. We'll go with short races because that's uh, best for videos, I'd say. We'll go with British Pounds and we'll go with that date format. I'll leave autosaves on because I always forget to do it. Then we'll play vanilla. I'm not going to put any mods on. Uh, what should we be called? Uh, well, uh, well, I suppose we can just use my name and we'll choose a date of birth. That's just going to be kind of random. Uh, something like that. Uh, that's my actual birth year. It's not my actual birth day or month. Uh, my skin tone. I'm happy with that hairstyle. Uh, let's see. My is there gray? There is gray, because that's uh, basically what my hair color is. Uh, like uh, white grayish uh, hairstyle. Facial hair. I don't have any facial hair, so let's turn that off. No, I don't wear glasses. Uh, so we can go with a backstory here. So X driver, driver feedback rating plus three, driver stat improvement rate increased. It's kind of nice. X, X engineer, part design time minus one day. I don't really care about that. Or financial. I think I'll go with financial, uh, save some money. Let's go with that. Okay. Oh, wait. Go back. Uh, how do I? I'm not English. I am Danish. Uh, where, where's Denmark? Starts with a D, right? Yep. There. So there. And we will create our own team in the single seater series, and we'll go start in the European racing series. Uh, I don't really like playing the others. I, uh, to be honest, I haven't tried this. I haven't bought it. Uh, this content, the GT series, there's only two leagues. I like to play three leagues so that we can kind of uh, get promoted twice. That's more fun to me. So we'll start in the European racing series. What's the rules? Short practice sessions, 27 laps a race on average, 60 km an hour, pit lane speed, semi-sequential pit stops. Uh, uh, okay, standard merit payments. Okay, double points for all drivers, nice. Uh, double points for the final race of the season, I don't like that. Points for the fastest lap. Eh, okay, I'm not really pro or con that. Uh, or uh, uh, bonus points for the driver in pole position. That I don't really like. And there's no qualifying, I think. Road tires closer to the type of tire you'd see on a road car. Brutus tires. Uh, okay. Jesus, there are a lot of rules. Okay. Okay. Let's close that and continue on. Uh, let's see. We are a Danish team. 
uh, we will not be called Martin Racing, we'll be called uh, Nerdy Old Racing. Nerdy Old Racing. That'll be the name of our team. Or no, let's call it something else. Uh, uh, Flash Racing. Uh, or no. Face first into the wall. Let's do that. Face first into the wall. Okay, logo design. Uh, let's go with kind of like that one. That one looks pretty cool. I like the colors uh, red and white. We are a Danish team, so. Let's actually go full on red. Mm. Full on red. Red and white. And full on white. Uh, did I do that for yes. team uniform? Full on white. Uh, shirt style. Let's do this one. I like that one. Uh, hat style. No, not that one. I kind of liked that one. Let's do that one. Uh, okay. And car livery or livery? How how is that pronounced? Livery or livery? I I never know. Uh, so we'll go with the full on red. And the secondary color will be full on white. Uh, the tertiary color will that be. Let's go like. Uh, pinkish kind of thing. I, I, I can't see the difference. Uh, let's do. I'm colorblind, so this is quite hard for me. Uh, let's go with that. And trim color will go white. Okay, how does that look? It looks pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at the different liveries here. Hmm. Oh, not that. Not that. Mm, that looks kind of okay. That actually looks kind of nice. Mm. Mm. That looks neat. Nine, I think, will be the winner. That looks kind of neat too. No, not the skull. Let's go with this one. Continue on. Yes, I've finished editing my team. Uh, hmm. Let's start with the three-star chassis. It has lowest pressure. It does have a small starting financial package, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's go with that. All right. So for this first episode, there won't be a race. Uh, because we need to set up and do a lot of stuff so there won't be a race for for the first episode we'll we'll be managing a lot of stuff hiring new people and stuff like that so and it'll be the same every season so basically there will be 11 uh, episodes to a season uh, the first episode of each season will be without a race most likely and then there will be 10 episodes uh, of races, one race in each episode. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so the start of something great, blah, blah, blah. You didn't think we just... Bah. So yeah, we have uh, this Kurt Kruger who is overseeing us. 
Uh, our investors have asked me to keep an eye on things. I'll be acting as your chairman. And I have the power to powers to remove you from your job if things aren't, shall we say, going to plan. Okay, great. Nice to meet you too. Uh, getting started. First of all, I can just, can I just say that I'm amazingly excited to be your assistant. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Good, good. So, the first order of business is to lay down our targets for the year. The corresponding budget that you set will have to last you all year, so be careful with your spending. Uh, okay. A shoddy HQ, yeah. We don't really have one, to be honest. Okay, so I don't think we should go for 8th. I think we should go for 10th, because we have the crappiest car on the grid. We basically can't improve it, really. Not by much, anyway. So, And we also have crappy drivers. So let's start with saying 10th. Uh, take a deep breath. Our drivers are awful. Our designers are awful. Our mechanics are awful. You need to get hiring fast. You know where to find me. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Good luck, dudes. Okay, introduction to the pit crew. Uh, so, the pit crew, uh, I don't really care about. Uh, I know it's maybe a mistake. Um, uh, so, we have the pit crew here. And I'm going to say auto manage the pit crew. And for now, it's going to be this guy, because he has four pit stops. So, there we go. We are not going to worry about the pit crew. It just takes too long. Uh, let, let them do it. Let them do it. Okay, let's have a look, uh, to start with, at our HQ. Because I want to build a building. Well, I want to upgrade a building. I want to upgrade our factory to level 2. Because... Right now, if we go take a look at the car, we can only improve two parts. Two in performance, two in reliability at a time. If we upgrade the factory, we'll be able to improve four parts at a time. So that's what we want to do. And while we're here, let's first take a look at what we want to improve. We'll improve these guys, well, those two. Because those are basically the best that we have. So those two will be the ones that we focus on. Uh, also for uh, performance. And we'll go kind of middle of the line. Because our parts are in decent condition. They're not great. But they're okay. Which uh, in next season they will be completely crap. Uh, uh, in uh, reliability. So we'll work on... Because we are, this is the first season, they're kind of okay in reliability, and we'll split the time between the two uh, uh, performance and, and reliability. Next season, we'll have to go all out reliability in the early days. Okay, so this is all good. Let's have a look at the HQ again. So, new buildings, we can build three buildings, we can build a forecasting center. We can build a scouting facility, or we can build a staff center. Now, I really like having the forecasting center, but we can't afford to build both that and uh, upgrade our um, factory at the same time. So, upgrade buildings, we have the design center, which unlocks a bunch of new uh, buildings and also uh, reduces the time it uh, takes to produce uh, parts but we're not going to do that now we're going to do the factory here which gives us uh, four slots uh, for parts improvements and it also unlocks the telemetry center test track breaks 50% uh, of the tour center and 50% of the helipad so we are going to upgrade this confirm that's 8 million we just spent we have 11 left so yeah. Okay, then we have our drivers. They are not completely crap. They are they're not good, but they they will suffice for for this season. Uh, they have let's see, Andre Gomez, five braking, eight cornering, fourteen smoothness. 
9, overtaking 12, consistency, adaptability 6, fitness 4, man. It has about the same fitness as I do. Uh, feedback 13 and focus 7. And then we have Faith Anthony. She has 8 braking, 5 cornering, 8 smoothness, 12 overtaking, 11 consistency, 10 adaptability, 4 fitness, 8 feedback, and 9 focus. And she's a nice girl. But uh, what does a nice girl do? Plus 5 mechanic relationship, plus 5 teammate morale, chairman's happiness, plus 5. So that's actually quite nice. And that's a permanent trait that she has. She can get new traits uh, as the things go along, and so can uh, Andre Gomez, of course. Let's go back and check Andre Gomez. He's a narcissist. Marketability, plus 30. Oh, I didn't know that narcissists were more marketable than other people, but fair enough. Okay. So, our drivers will leave alone, but we definitely want to hire new race mechanics and before the end of the season we'll want to hire a new lead designer as well, but I'll wait with that. Uh, so, we want to look for race mechanics, so let's go scouting and for race mechanics. Let's see what there is. Uh, so. Basically, I'm looking for ones that are not already hired because I don't want to pay to break their contract. So we have Kevin Sule here, who has 8 concentration, 16 part fixes, 14 pit stops. That's quite nice. 9 reliability, chemistry 14, and performance 7. Let's approach him because he is quite nice. Okay, start negotiations. Wages are important to me. That's too bad. Let's try 38,000. Medium contract is fine by me. Uh, signing on fee. He'd like a nice signing on fee. Let's give him 75,000. And bonus sizing is quite important. We'll go with bonuses for fifth or above, which means basically means that they'll almost never get them. Let's try 36,000. And let's try 60,000 instead. Good. Let's send him a contract proposal and we'll go back and scout for another one. Oh now we're getting down into worse territory here. Man all of them are hired for something. Trevor Clark. So wait Kevin he had uh, nine reliability seven performance. This is for uh, improving the the parts so he has the highest in reliability so we want someone who has good performance okay what does Trevor here have two performance no we're not going for you Trevor Becky Kitagawa 12 performance her pit stops suck though hmm Samantha what do you have uh, seven pit stops, six performance, no. Carlos Semedo, no. Tom Woodbridge, ten pit stops, that's quite nice. Okay, and they're just gonna get worse from here, so let's go back up to who was it? Wasn't it was, was it Becky? It was Becky. Alright, let's approach Becky and see if we can uh, get her on the team. She has quite a lot. Uh, of room for improving as well so the full stars is what they already have and the kind of not colored in stars are their potential so let's approach you wages are important let's try giving her a little bit less what, what, what can we actually go up to with her 43,000 so she is actually expecting a lot less than him let's Let's go 20,000. Medium contract. Uh, nice signing on fee. Let's give her 30,000. And for the bonus, the bonus size is important. We'll go 30,000 as well. For fifth or above. Okay. So there. That's staff search done. Then we need to go here and we need to build a new part. And I think I want to build an engine. 
Yeah, definitely build an engine. Look at our engine. So this is what it has. Uh, one performance and it has a potential of reaching, reaching 12. This uh, engine basically can't start and has the potential to go up to 5. So yeah, mm -hmm. not the best stuff in the world. So we'll get an engine and oh, these parts suck. Uh, so top speed plus 10 plus 10 reliability i guess so that will give us uh, it'll start at 12 and we'll be able to go up to 36 percent and the reliability will start at 50 percent let's build you that'll cost another 1.4 million almost 1.5 good sponsors we don't have any sponsors yet we can get six sponsor slots these sponsors over here they give bonuses for where you qualify or, or where you finish the race uh, so that's one of them might say that if you finish fifth or above you'll get uh, 200,000 or something like that uh, these sponsors over here they are fixed payment sponsors so it doesn't matter where you finish you'll get the money no matter what uh, some of them pay some money up front and some for the races some of them only on up front or some of them only for the races or per race so that's it let's uh, continue on oh uh, introduction to the pick oh, yeah i got it uh, all right let's see the contract proposals here and there's an interview uh, Congratulations on joining face first into the wall. Are you interested in doing an interview for channel six? Sure, why not? Well, you've certainly picked a tough task for a first job. Are you expecting to pick up any points at all this season? Uh, we're going to surprise a few people. I'm quietly confident I will ma manage a few decent finishes. It'll be a struggle. Now I think we'll go with B, I'm quietly confident. Andre Gomez is seen by fans as your top driver. Do you agree with that, or would you say that Faith Anthony is better? Uh, I'm lucky to have inherited two great drivers. I don't want to say that one is better than the other. It'll hurt their feelings. Uh, <laughs> frankly, I haven't been blown away by either of them. They both, they're both going to have to perform well to impress me. That's probably not the way to go either. We'll go with C. In the Channel 6 season preview, I wrote that you were expected to finish 10th. Yeah, the prediction seal seems fair. You can say we'll do better. I hate to put this point fans, but that seems realistic to me. Yeah, the prediction seems fair, but I'm hoping to surprise a bit. Your fa financial skills aren't in doubt, but some pundits are skeptical about whether or not you belong in the world of motorsports. What would you say to them? They're foolish to question me. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't good enough, and I can't wait to prove everybody wrong. I understand their concerns, but I have enough faith in my abilities. Managing finance is a big part of motorsport. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but if the fans support me, I'll try not to let them down. I'll go with B. Okay, finish the interview. None of them accepted their contracts outright, so they we're going to have to renegotiate. Uh, insulted with the salary, the signing on fee, and the race bonus she's unhappy with. Up here, so we have this one more sh uh, chance. If she doesn't accept the next offer we, we give her, then she will be done with us and we won't be able to get her. So let's go 34,000. That's quite a big bump. Uh, signing on fee, we'll go 60,000. That's the max. Uh, let's just say 54 then. Uh, race bonus, let's go with 48,000. Let's try that. Contract renegotiation for Kevin Sule. We really want this guy. Oh, it's the last chance. Insulted, insulted, insulted. Okay. How high can we go with this guy? 72,000. Let's try 62,000. Uh, signing on fee. Let's go with 120,000. Let's doubling it. And for the race bonus, we'll go 72,000. No, 63,000. Let's try that. See how that goes. Alright. So, there we go. 
Uh, so, feeling in great form. So, form is 10 during the race. Nice. Okay. For 10 races. Not bad. Uh, report on upcoming race Black Sea. Okay, so it's an 18 lap race. The lap length is 2.6 miles and the lap record is, is 121. There's a 40% chance of rain. It's a high speed circuit. So Garuda is the best for, for that. Okay, uh, thoughts about the design center. It's no secret that uh, our design center is severely lacking. Uh, no, we can't find some cash for that. God damn, Kevin Sule rejected it. Damn it. Okay, she will talk one more time, but it is the last chance. So we'll go up to max for her. We'll go a little bit down there. Okay, we need to look for... We have some sponsor offers, but there's only one in each. You can get up to three in each, so we don't actually want to look at that yet. Uh, scouting for race mechanics. Okay, so Becky was... or Kevin was unfortunately not interested. Oscar, who's Danish? No. Uh, Tom Woodbridge. Ten pit stops. Hmm. Carlos Semedo. Pit stop six. I suppose we almost have to go with him. Samantha. Seven and six. Eight reliability. Seven pit stops. Becky, we're already talking to. Trevor. 11 on pit stops, but he basically can't fix a part. And then everyone else is taken. And Kevin, he doesn't want to talk to us. Damn it. Okay. Suppose we'll try Samantha Stafford here. Okay, wages are fairly important to me. What can we go up to max? 37,000. Let's just go with there. For a long contract, no, you get a medium contract. Uh, what's the max? 45,000. Let's go with 36. Uh, fifth or above. Uh, or what's the max? 60. 42,000. Let's try that out. And there we go. Our engine has been built. So we now have a better engine. And I think we'll design a new part immediately and another engine. And we'll again go with this one. Oh, I hate these risk levels. So risk levels means that uh, you're at risk of having your part banned by uh, the racing community, G GMA or race, racing union or whatever they're called. Uh, they are called the GMA uh, after the race. So after every race, there's a risk of the part being banned and uh, basically you've thrown away your money. So we're not going to choose a risky part. We'll take this instead so now that we built an average engine we are able to build a good engine and when we've built that we'll be able to build a great engine and then an epic and a legend legendary but that also requires that uh, uh, our factory and i think our design center are upgraded so we'll build uh, this thing that's another 1.5 million. Okay. And there we go. So when is our factory done? 18 weeks, so that'll be a while. How do our parts look? 
82, 676. That's all good, but we'll take you off and we'll stick you on. If you only have one part in, then it's repaired faster. So, but I think we need to go fully on reliability. And we'll take uh, one of these off, this one, and stick you on there so that we get a much, much uh, better engine. Still not a good engine, but a better engine. All right, we have reached race day. Let's first have a look at our sponsors. Uh, so, so here we have a 16th or above for 10 races. It's a million up front and then a bonus payment of 75,000 per race. I'll take this. That's actually a decent offer to me. And we actually have <laughs> a chance of, of coming in 16th. So we will confirm that and grab a million bucks there. Then we have a second or above. It's 100,000 up front and 650,000. Uh, per race if we finish second or above and we can only select one of these so we we have this one but if we don't select it as the sponsor that we'll be using you might say then we won't get the 75,000 so if we don't select so if we s choose this and but select the other one that only gives us 75,000. Even if we finish second or above, we won't get the 650,000. It's only 100,000 up front. We're not going to accept this. This one, ninth or above, do length eight races, 750,000 up front and 450,000 per race. I'll accept that. Then we have this one, 150,000 per race for six races. I think we can do better than that. This one is nice. Uh, so 200,000 up front and we get 200,000 fixed per race, no matter what. So that's actually 2.2 million we're getting out of this. Let's confirm that. All right. Uh, what about contract negotiations? We didn't get our our uh, new uh, race mechanics before this race. That really, really sucks. Let's have a quick look at uh, designers. Is there anything that we can get that we want to get? The silly Sokolev. Yeah, uh, so the designers here, they have some special parts that they can unlock for you. So this one is build time plus five days, unlocks an additional good component slot. Okay. Uh, performance plus 25, reliability minus 10, only on wet and inters. Okay, so those are not the greatest, but he is pretty decent. 17 for engines, 11 for brakes, one on the front wing. That's kind of his downfall. He's not bad. He's not bad, but he's not great. Let's see what else is here. Houston Woods. He's a good all-rounder. Uh, he has build time minus one day. And for legendary part pit stop fix time, minus three seconds. We'll never build a legendary. Not while we have him as the designer anyway. And this one kind of sucks. But he's a decent all-rounder. Theo Fraser, decent all-rounder as well. We have performance plus 20 to max, reliability minus 10%, that's quite nice. And for good, performance plus 50, reliability minus 25% on softs, super softs or, and ultras. This guy is kind of nice. Let's approach him and see what he wants. What can we pay him? max 106,000 let's go in with 70 uh, sure you can have a long contract I think uh, signing on fee what can we give you it's 375,000 let's go with 225 fifth or above you'll get 
48,000. Let's go in for him and see. All right, so that is everything done before the race here. So it is race day and we'll come back uh, for the race in the next one. But before uh, we leave, remember, uh, the, we'll go for one season for sure if uh, the series is getting views and the viewers are liking it, leaving likes and leaving, leaving comments and so on, we'll continue on for another one. If, if uh, you're not liking it, uh, and of course that's fair enough if you don't like the, the game or if you don't like the videos, then don't leave a like. But if you do like it and you want to see more, leave a like and if you have suggestions or input or anything like that i would love to get them in the comments i read all of them and reply to most of them so yeah thank you very much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it and you will enjoy the series and i'll see you in the next one